Judge Zenora Mitchell Rankin has been instrumental in the growth and advancement of hundreds of Washington's at risk young people. I did refer many children, uh, many young young women, sort of on the cusp of uh, adolescence and into being teenagers and young women. Um, typically, I would refer young women really who had had problems in other kinds of environments, foster care placements, whether or not it was in an individual home, other group homes. Um, the size was smaller. There were not as many um, uh, young women and young girls in the group home. There was more individualized attention um, at Iona Whipper. Today, we have people such as Maxine Baker, who is lending her hands and helping us to help those in our society that are truly in need. This is a successful program, one that we are proud of our investment at the Freddie Mac Foundation. When you walk into the structure, you see how beautiful it is and how warm it is and the care and attention to the facility. But what's really important is the care and attention that has been given to the young women coming through this home. Part of my mission uh, is to try to get the more eloquent uh, of the youth to speak you know, on behalf of the youth. I really want them to be a part of this discussion about what their future is going to be before it arbitrarily gets decided that we should just lock these youth up and throw away the key. Okay, hi, I'm Stefan, I'm a psychologist, and Ryan is uh, behind the camera, and, um, and he's visiting Cabrini House. I think even uh, it's first time for him, and it's the first time for him uh, being here in Germany, and he's uh, looking for uh, searching, making research for where his ancestors are coming from, starting with his father, and therefore it's, I guess, exciting to know that his father was living here many years ago, and this is the, this is the reason why he is here in the Caprini house. This is it, Pop. Uh, unchanged, as I recall, from the time you were here. Wow, that's amazing. 1946, this was still there. This was here long before 1946. 262, second, 262nd child, well, which was brought into this place, was Hermes Johannes.